night, a controversial signing has Bruins management playing defense, and it's because of this defenseman, Mitchell Miller. The 20-year-old was once convicted of bullying and abusing a disabled classmate. The victim's mother tells us that the abuse went on for years, and the facts of the case were so vile, another NHL team already cut him. But tonight, the Bruins are feeling the wrath of fans. Christina Rex has been working the story. She has the reaction, the player's apology, and the victim's emotional mother. Miller says he'll do community service and diversity training, but the mom of the boy he bullied says that's not enough. It's heartbreaking, to say the least. Yeah. Joni Meyer Crothers still gets emotional talking about what her son Isaiah endured throughout his life. Years of bullying, she says, culminating in a 2016 crime admitted by Mitchell Miller, the 20 year old signed by the Boston Bruins Friday. When you put a push pop in a urinal and have a kid lick it, that's not a mistake. Isaiah has fetal alcohol syndrome and he's cognitively behind. His adoptive mother says he endured years of bullying and was called racial slurs by Mitchell. She's horrified a professional organization would want him on their team. I don't care how talented any player is, he could be the next Wayne Gretzky, but if you're player that you're taking doesn't have character and isn't a good human being, then you really might want to rethink what you're doing. Miller was once drafted by the Arizona Coyotes, only to be dropped once this incident came to light. Bruins general manager Don Sweeney says signing Mitchell was a difficult team decision. I'm not going to downplay that this has been a, uh, a personal struggle as well, the professional struggle. Um, as we go through to try and separate, you know, the hockey player and the person, I might have been the person that picked him up at the airport to, you know, when we arrived in Boston, I would be the first person to drive him to the airport if, if, if anything goes sideways. But the victim's mother doesn't feel Miller has learned enough in the six years since to deserve this second chance. And why did he wait a week ago when he knew he was being signed to the Bruins to reach out to our son? Yeah, Miller reached out to her son on Instagram trying to apologize last week. But she says when this incident happened, he never apologized. At the TD Garden, Christina Rex, WBZ News.